Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in The Sims 4 we are going to be building or attempting to build something that is kind of Victorian. Um, if you know me here, I personally, I just don't build with the style in mind. I just build with what I think looks good. And I kind of built this house accidentally because originally this build was supposed to be a cemetery lot. I was going to build it for my ABC Legacy Challenge. And this is one of the attempts of that. And I was like, oh my gosh, this would probably look very good in Strangerville. Um, so yeah, this is what, yeah, I don't know. It was supposed to be a cemetery lot basically. But then I was like, yeah, this looks like it would fit in Strangerville. And I was going to do a cemetery, cemetery lot for that. But then I was like, this just, it looks like a house. It should just be a house, you know? I don't need to be extra. So yeah, so we're starting in um, Brittleton Bay. But we'll be moving over to their Strangerville world in no time. I just have to like figure out the shape and everything and the coloring and we should be moving on. But I believe this house has three bedrooms. It could be four if you turn the office into a bedroom except it has an ensuite which is fine but I don't know because like I would have to make the upstairs bathroom accessible to everyone then and I feel like the parents deserve to have an ensuite. So that is what I made happen, but I never built in this style before, so obviously it took me a while. So like when we start going to Strangerville, when we start that part of the speed build, just know like in the beginning, like I was kind of like standing around, kind of unsure of like what I was doing. So I kind of tried to cut that part out just because like, again, like I, this is very out of my comfort zone because I just don't build like this. Um, but I think it's good for what it is, hopefully. Um, I think it's nice. Um, I went for like a yellow and green color scheme because the Strangerville doors and windows, they come in a yellow and green, which I think is so beautiful. And I'm happy to have used the doors and the windows for that pack finally because I don't usually use it. And also the interior door, I guess is like more usable, but... Um, it, I don't like the doorknob. The doorknob is weird. Like, that's the only bad part about the doorknob. Or, the only bad part about the door is that the doorknob is weird. And I don't really, I don't play, in, I never played Strangerville before. Like, I never done that. I feel like I probably should do that for a video. Um, very interesting. I want to do a lot of things, basically. Um, currently I'm doing my life and death playthrough with, like, all the packs. But I always had this thought of like doing a playthrough with basically all the packs that have gameplay with it and just doing that pack in base game. Um, so I kind of still want to do that. Obviously that is a very long task to do. Like that is going to take a while, a lot. Um, but I want to. I think it would be fun. Um, also I am playing the Super Sim Challenge on my own. And part of me is like, should I just do that? I don't know. I was kind of thinking, like, should I just do that on YouTube? But I'm not sure if I want to do that. Um, I don't think I will, to be honest with you. It would be fun, but I don't know. I just, I'm unsure of how I feel about it. Because as I said before, like, with doing all of the packs, or wanting to play with each pack on its own, um, I... I want to do it on its own basically with no other packs because I think it would be fun to like actually test out how good it is without the other packs. Like obviously there's things that have cross pack compatibility which is good but I think it would also just be nice to test out on its own with base game. So yeah I want to do that in the future maybe in 2025 I will start that. I think I, I currently have three gameplay things going on so like my ABC Legacy Challenge. That is 26 generations. I'm not finishing that anytime soon. And then we have my Blackout Bingo Challenge, which I started when I reached 700 subscribers. It was supposed to be a fun thing to do, and I'm still doing it. Um, and yeah, um, we're pretty much, I would say we're probably close to being done with that. I only have five things more to do. I only have five things to do, um, which I don't think those five things are the worst. One is to find a plum bite. The other one is to max my career and then reach the peak of Mount Kamarebi, win five horse competitions. I'm pretty sure I already won two. So I just need three more and then I need to break up ten couples. Which I feel like breaking up the ten couples and reaching the peak of Mount Kamarebi is going to be kind of hard. But 
it's definitely doable. I'm just going to have to have her be friends with like 10 people who are in a relationship and then talk to them to like have them break up with that Sam, basically. Um, so maybe that won't be too bad. Um, I can use Social Bunny to become their friends if I want to like speed run it. And yeah, and then I'm also have my life and death playthrough as I said before. But yeah, we're now in Strangerville figuring the rest of this build out. Um, so yeah, I feel like, you know, Strangerville, I never lived in this area, but I feel like it's kind of nice. But also I feel like if I live here, then I would need to play the story, which I don't think I want to do, to be honest with you. I don't know if you can like cheat it to be complete, but... If you can, that would be amazing, I guess. I don't know why I would live here, though. I feel like sometimes I just, I don't see my Sims ever living here, because I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm pretty sure with my ABC Legacy Challenge, like, I was trying to do things that i never done before, so I'm pretty sure, like, the Strangerville thing is probably on there to complete it. So, yeah, now we're figuring out the floor plan. It took me a lot of tries. Um, I only show you my first attempt just because like, yeah, I don't know. You don't need to see all those attempts. It's very unnecessary. And I was also very unsure about like the living room layout because uh, I just felt like there wasn't really enough wall space. And yeah, um, also this is like a first, the first time in a while that I did like a separate layout for everything or like a closed room. So like the kitchen is its own room. The living room is its own room. The dining room is its own room. So I think that is lovely. I think that is pretty nice. Um, and I like the furniture I went for in here and I really love like the green and yellow color scheme. I think that looks really good. Um, I like it so much, especially Home Chef Hustle is so good. I really love how their kitchen turned out. It was so beautiful, but yeah, hopefully you enjoy it too. Um, they do have a nice backyard space, so that is good. And also the top floor and the bottom floor is both medium wall height. So hopefully that is okay. Um, I don't know. It's just, I didn't like how the windows were fitting on the top floor. And I think that's probably the reason. I'm not so sure why I made the bottom floor medium wall height. Well, I feel like probably because of the doors because they won't clip. Um, so that was good. And that was the reason. And then the reason for the top floor is because like the window didn't fit how I wanted it to fit. Like it was kind of clipping in with the roof. So that was the problem with that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully you guys can see some winter builds pretty soon. Actually, I probably should check my schedule because I I kind of plan ahead more than I need to. Um, it's like very unnecessary, but it's fun to like plan things out, even if they have to change. Um, because they have a new event going on at the moment. And I was kind of thinking like, what if I posted one long video of that so I won't post it every week because I just there's so many video ideas that I have that like I don't think I want to waste my time and like not waste my time but I don't want to like post a video of that every week because I just don't think it's necessary I think I could just make one long video about it and it will be good um so yeah um but yeah um let's see so this week um actually tomorrow i'm going to be ranking the stuff packs and then i'm going to be doing a build with all of the stuff packs um so hopefully that is fun um i don't know i'm i'm so scared like the whole like the build with all of the kids that was good i was proud of that build but i have to use luxury party um and i'm a little concerned about that pack i'm a little scared Hopefully I can make it work. I guess I could like use the chair. Like I could use like that one chair one time and be good, I guess. But no, wait, no, I think that's the vintage glamour pack. I'm so confused. Sometimes I get like the vintage glamour stuff confused with like the luxury party stuff. So I'm very unsure what I could use for luxury party now. Cause like there's that weird glow cube. Nobody wants that. Then there's a buffet table. You're not gonna have that in a house. I don't know. I don't remember. I guess maybe maybe it will be fine. Maybe it will be fine, hopefully. Maybe they run a maybe they have like a nightclub in their basement. 
Um, well, no, because you need a dance floor. Um, none of the stuff packs have a dance floor. I can pretend that there's a dance floor. And I guess just put a radio. Because I was kind of thinking of having like a DJ booth, but that's an expansion pack. So that's not going to work. Maybe I can keep that idea up for the um, expansion packs. Maybe that would be good. But I think the first winter build is going to be on the 20th, which is the day before winter starts. And I actually made a whole new intro and outro, which I like. I definitely like it better than the fall one or the current one. But I think it's kind of nice to change out the intro during like what season it is. So I think that's beautiful. Um, anyways, we're finally working on the kitchen. Um, I like it. I put like a table in the middle. So like... I don't know I think this would I think it would probably especially in my apartment I think it would be nice to have like a table in the middle because sometimes there's just not space for anything um not space to put things down it's just but if I did put a table it would be like very crowded in there you would have to squeeze by so that would not work but yeah um I like the kitchen I like the dining room um I don't think I have any unfavorite room um, and did I cut out the bathroom, um, upstairs, the ensuite bathroom, because it's basically kind of the same of the, as the one downstairs, except it just has a shower instead of a shower and tub combo. And yesterday you should have seen me build a house for the BFF household. Um, I will say I have attempted that. I haven't built it yet, honestly, but I've attempted it and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. I just, I don't know how to build it. Okay. Okay. Um, so that is like for my save file. Um, so yeah, that's very rough. I haven't made many videos for my save file. I literally built one house and that's it. I know, I know. It's bad. I probably should start building it more because I'm just going to forget about it. It's going to be so long and then I'm going to be like, I'm going to just start over again. Um, I attempted this way too many times, so I probably shouldn't prolong it any longer I guess but yeah I just have no idea what their house is gonna look like like obviously I want it to I want it to like fit the neighborhood but also it's just I'm very unsure if I, I just don't know what to go for basically um that is the issue um and yeah we're just back in the dining room putting in some lights very simple room um and yeah I used like the dining table from the new kitchen, or not kitchen, but like cozy kitchen kit. So that's nice. I wonder what the next creator kits are going to be. Um, like we probably won't get another pack until next year, obviously, because it's the end of the year. Um, but yeah, I wonder what they're going to be. Like, I'm excited. Like, it's crazy. Um, I'm just thinking like, what could it possibly be? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of, I don't know. I love the cozy kitchen kit. It's so good. I just, I just... I just wonder so bad what it could be. Like, imagine, okay, actually, I don't know if I would pay $5 for this. Okay, look, I don't like the eyelashes that they gave us. Um, so in my head, I'm like, what if, what if we got like an eyelash kit? But no, no, I wish, maybe they could just give us another update to the eyelashes and make them thinner instead of so thick and chunky. It's just, I don't like them. A lot of people are like, oh, if it's the style though, and it's just, no, it, it's no, it's not for me. It doesn't look good to me. Um, anyways, but that's just my opinion, I guess. Also, can we talk about the fact that like some people when they don't want things, like, I don't know, it's just, they act weird about it. Cause like, for example, I don't want cars in the Sims, but if they gave it to us, I don't care. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh my gosh, cars are so stupid. We don't need cars. They're so dumb and pointless. Like, I just, I think that's weird because, like, obviously some people want it and I'm not going to, like, I guess, be weird about it and be like, well, I don't want it, so I don't think they should make it. No, I think they should make it because a lot of people want that and not everything is going to be catered to you, obviously. Like, there's going to be some packs that you don't want, um... Yeah, that's just my opinion on that. Like, some people get so weird and, like, so, I guess, I don't know. It's, like, entitled the right word. Because, like, for example, I would not want zombies in The Sims. But if they were to give us give us it, I'm not going to, like, complain and throw a tantrum and be weird about it. Like, I don't know. It's just a lot of people are like, I don't want that. And it's like, well, you don't have to play with it. And, like, they would probably put it in a packet anyways. 
Um, but also you just, you don't have to play with it. So it's not really that big of an issue. Um, so like for me personally, I would love create a tool. I want it so bad, mostly for build mode. And I would also love like a color slider for the hair in the game. I'm not so, I don't really care about the clothes having that, but I mean, if they could do it for the clothes, I don't see why not. Um, but yeah, like I'm one of those people that really want that so bad like so bad and a lot of people's complaint is like oh I don't want that that's so overwhelming I don't think we need that and it's just like you don't have to use it I mean you just you don't have to use it it's just there if you want it but it's not something that you have to use so I just think that's kind of weird you know what I mean like I wouldn't I don't know it's just it's weird because, like, I feel like when you say, like, I don't want this, we don't need that, it's saying, like, oh, your opinion is the only one that matters. Whereas, I think your thought should probably be, like, oh, I probably wouldn't use this a lot, but for the people who want it, it would be nice. I don't have to use it, you know? Like, I don't even play with vampires. I haven't touched them a single time. And I do have the pack, but I haven't touched them a single time. But I don't really mind them. I don't care. I don't care that much. They don't really bother me. Um, I don't even play with Strangerville. And yeah, I just, it doesn't bother me. Um, I don't think it's that serious or that big of a deal. Um, and I don't, I don't know. I think it's just nice that they could like cater to everyone eventually. Like maybe not every single pack is going to be for you, but eventually everyone will get their time. But yeah, anyways, I just, I really want creative tool. I don't know if we're gonna get that or whatever it's called, create a style. I don't know what it's called, but it would be so nice. Like, I just, I can't imagine. It would be so beautiful if I could like match the dream home decorator wood color with the base game stuff because none of that matches at all. So it would just be nice. It would be cool. It would be lovely. Um, but yeah, that's just my only complaint. I don't think we should be tearing down what people want in the game as like, I don't want this. We shouldn't get it at all. Blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, that's just my opinion. Like there's a lot of packs I want, you know, like I want fairies. I would love the idea of a hotel pack, but I'm not so sure about that <laughs> considering the fact that for it cause corruption issues. I don't know if that still happens, um, but for it just has its issues. And I'm kind of scared to use it because I don't want nothing corrupt to happen. I don't think I've heard about it in a while, but I haven't been looking on the forums. So I guess we could still see if that's still a problem. But yeah, that just scares me. And what else do I want? I want multifunctional lots. Like I want to put like a cafe and a gym next to each other or something. Imagine if you could do like a row of stores like on that 40 by 20 and growing together or in San Sequoia, I should say. Um, that's the name of the world, okay? But yeah, it has like this long 40 by 20 lot. You could just put like a row of stores, a cafe, a bookstore, or like a retail a lot, I guess. A gym, a, I don't know, restaurant, a clothing store or something. Um... I'm just trying to think of like the different lot types, a spa, a cemetery. Okay, maybe not. I don't know. I feel like that would be weird combined with the others, but that would be so cool. I want that so bad. And like a residential, like it would be nice if like you could, you could also have like a residential on a like kind of community lot type thing, um, like an apartment above a retail store or above a bookstore or above the library. Obviously, it would work, like, for rent, probably, whereas you have to, like, load in, but I don't mind that. I don't mind it at all, and that way, like, you can have, like, multiple community lots in one world, because, like, obviously, if the world only has, like, 12 lots, you probably don't want to exactly fill it up a lot with community lots, because, like, then there's not that many residential lots and etc., so... If you could have basically multiple lots on one, that would be good um, to me. I, I, I would love it personally. Um, and yeah, um, I will say one thing um, with people wanting cars is, I don't know, I feel like like Cabrado, it doesn't have a road. Obviously, um, you don't like, 
I guess it could just disappear or work how it did in the other games, I suppose. Um, but I'm pretty sure I haven't played the past games. Like I pay I played The Sims 3 when I was like super little. I barely remember that, but I'm pretty sure there was like some type of thing you could I guess you could work on cars. Um, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. So like they could still do that. But also like if they were to make them a way to travel, I feel like they would have made the newest worlds have a road leading to it. If that was the cause. I don't know. Like, it would be nice if they could, like, drive away a little bit and then it loads into a screen. Like, obviously, it's not gonna, like, travel. Like, you're not gonna watch the car go down the road or whatever. But, um, I think it would still be nice. But, obviously, yeah. Um, anyways. That's, like, the only thing. I feel like if that was going to happen, they would have probably already... Well, no, make the newer newer worlds have roads because that would be easier than going back. They would never do that, though, because, like, that's crazy. Like, could you imagine they just edit all of the worlds to have roads now? It would look so different. Um, <laughs> It would look so different. But, yeah, I think, I don't know. I'm always down for new stuff for my Sims to do because I don't want to do the same thing over and over. Like, I feel like I do writer a lot. I have my Sims paint a lot. I just, I do that so many times. Um, I probably have my um, Sims sell things a lot. Okay, maybe not that much. Maybe not that much. I don't know, but yeah. I have my Sims garden a lot. I try to, cause like gardening is bugged. So I don't like to play with it too much. Um, but yeah, we're just working on the main bedroom now um and getting some curtains I decided to give them a platform in that weird bay window type of area I guess um because I think that's cute um and lovely and wonderful I'm so sorry um I feel like at this point of the build I'm like out of things to talk about which is kind of bad but it's okay we will get through this we will get through this um anyways Anyways, I was speaking of how, like, how many videos or ideas I have that I want to do. Like, I have so many ideas that I don't even know if I should start working on them yet. Um, cause, like, there's this one build that is going to take forever. And then I have, like, this other idea and it's just, like, I'm personally at a point where I don't know if I should make those videos because I don't think my audio is, like, the best. Like, some points, like, sometimes there's always that, like... I don't know what to call it like clipping I don't talk that loud though I think you have to talk pretty loud for that to happen but like there's noises that happens or something I don't know what it is like distortion maybe but yeah I just don't know if I should make it if my audio isn't the best um so yeah I just basically I'm going to try to get like a new PC because I definitely need a better graphics card but like I have a very I guess outdated PC maybe so I probably could get a better one and one with more storage also because I feel like that's an issue and then I want to get like a new audio interface because this one is pretty cheap um it's just I was I don't know I have like an Elgato d dynamic mic I don't know what it's called but it also has like an audio interface and I did not buy it because it's like $160. Um, that's crazy. That is insane. Um, but right now I'm using like the Fifteen. I don't even know how to say it. But like I think that was like $30. I think it was like on sale. But yeah, I just maybe that's the issue. That's what someone said could be the issue. So I should probably try to get one of those. I've been looking on the Facebook marketplace, but it's just like, I don't know. And then when it goes on sale, it's like 120 and it's like, I'm sorry. Like, it's not worth it. Can you like make it 50% off? Um, and hopefully I would have like the $80 by then, but geez, it's, that's too much. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. It's like you needed so many pieces to buy it. Cause like the mic, it, it came on its own. It did not come with the cord. It did not come with the mount. It didn't come with anything. It did not come with anything. It was just the mic. So I had to buy the XLR cable separate and the mic separate and the audio interface separate. So I guess like buying the audio interface separate is good because that way you don't pay 
$160. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's all separate, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I should share my big ideas with everyone. I don't know, like, should I keep it a surprise? I just, I have so many ideas, but I don't think I want to make those videos until my quality, my audio quality could be better. I could probably start building what I want to build, but that's also very intimidating and I don't know if it's worth it. Like, it's going to be, like, probably so laggy, um, depending on how I go about it, but it's, like, so scary. There's going to be, like, so many trials and errors. I don't know if it's worth it. It's going to be, like, a long video, a long speed build. I can promise you that, but I don't know. But, yeah, I have, like, a room upstairs for the kids. Um, they share a room, um, so that's nice. I thought them having a balcony was nice because in my head I was like I feel weird giving the child a balcony and the teenager being downstairs with no balcony I feel like that should have been switched if that was the case so in my head I was like oh maybe there's two kids in here and that's why they got the bigger room with the balcony and then I got some string lights I put a pool um I have a games table on the balcony for the kids um we have lounge chairs a grill a dining table, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty simple. The build is pretty much almost over. I'm just like grabbing what I said I would. Um, the landscaping is also very simple. Um, and yeah, it's pretty simple, I would say. Um, also, I'm trying to think, did I give you a tour of this? I don't think I did a tour yet. Sometimes I do the tour before I do the voiceover. <laughs> Um, I'm probably thinking of another tour video I showed you, but yeah, we also have a chess table, so that's also very nice. Um, and yeah, I also have like other simple list of builds I want to do. Like in my head, for some reason, I was like, oh my gosh, Bob Pancakes, Bob Pancake, Bob Pancake, it's just Pancake, not with an S, right? Bob Pancake, Bob Pancakes. Oh my gosh, do I not know his name? Bob Waffles? No, it's Bob Pancakes. I was thinking like he needs to open up his, uh, or, or I guess open up a pancake shop just selling pancakes and maybe like one beverage, like maybe coffee or like what, what goes good with, like what goes good with pancakes in the morning? I would say probably coffee. So maybe he can sell both. Can you sell coffee? Like, could you just make it? I don't know. I feel like that's a lot of work, though. Like, you don't, like, no, that's too much. Maybe we'll just stick to the pancakes only. But I think that would be very cool. He could, he could sell waffles. Maybe I could give him, like, a stepbrother. And his name is, I don't know, Ted Waffles. I don't know what the name could be. Bob Pancakes and... Um, Tom Waffles, um, Ben Waffles, um, I'm trying to think of a name, Franklin Waffles, Frank Waffles, Michael Waffles, I, I don't know, okay, I tried, Rob Waffles, Robert Waffles, I really don't know, I'm just trying to think of something like that, so he could, like, sell pancakes and waffles with his stepbrother, or what if it was his half-brother, and he just... The half brother just took his other parents last name I don't know I'm trying to think of a story that would be so cool I could do that for my save file I could put like a pancake shop in um, Willow Creek oh my gosh I'm thinking of stuff that's amazing um but yeah I'm just getting down some terrain paint and finishing up the landscaping um and I don't know if I add anything else um I probably should add like an attic decor box and yeah I guess you don't need to watch the rest of this so I'm just gonna hop into the game and give you guys a tour so I built it here on this lot it's 95,000 simoleons so it's very expensive so this is what it looks like so in the front I put like a swing set we have our mailbox and then we have these weird flowers from the romantic garter pack I thought those fit strangerville because they're so weird um but in the front we just have some gardening pots when you walk in this is like an entry table we have our nice cozy living room space 
And then we have three doors. One leads to like the art studio room, pretty nice. And then over here, I was thinking this is a teen's bedroom, pretty cool. They have a football, they're into sports. And then this is like the office space. So there's a nice guitar, violin, mirror, bookshelf, computer, all those things. And then this is like the downstairs bathroom. And then over here we have the kitchen. So they have like a stand mixer, they have aprons, they have a table in the middle. And then over here we have like a cookbook and yeah, they can just cook on this counter there's a trash can and then this is like the dining room so they have a cool circle table and then upstairs there's a very skinny hallway with a mirror bookshelves and then a family bulletin board and another thermostat this is the main bedroom so they have like a woodworking table they have their dresser and a tv this is their ensuite bathroom pretty simple it just has a shower and then this is the kids bedroom they have bun bun and a nice little dollhouse with their dresser and then this is their outdoor balcony. So they have a science table, a games table, some music, and a project. Then in the side backyard, you have a chess table. We have a grill with a dining table. This is your trash can, more pots. We have marbles, monkey bars. This is the lounging area. And then this is their pool. So that is the full build. And then I decided to put like the added box in this empty room up here in the tower. It is pretty simple. I'm going to upload this to the gallery for you guys. It was supposed to be a strange cemetery but it's actually a beautiful house I think. I called it a Victorian home. I don't know if it is. It could just be a normal home. I'm gonna say it's Victorian so don't judge me if it's not a Victorian home or if you wouldn't consider this a Victorian home. But if you want to download this I did use a lot of packs as usual but my gallery ID is Sims Delicious if you want to download. Um so it seems I forgot to paint this part. Yeah that was an accident okay. But I'm gonna leave the video off here so if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe i love you you are important bye everybody